what's up guys so today we're gonna be working on the BMW yeah so today we're going to install the fuel cut defender so for those of you who don't know what a fuel cut defender is it's um, basically a electronical device that intercepts your map sensor signal and tricks it into thinking that you know you've not reached the proper fuel cut signal as yet so it has it has a value from 1 to 12 which basically determines how much you want to alter that fuel cut signal and um, yeah so today I'm gonna be showing you how to install it so I haven't started it in a while so I decided before I start the installation I would do a free rev video so I could compare it before and after so yeah I'm gonna do that right now video of how it sounds before we did the installation I guess we can just jump into it now so these are the things that you're gonna need all right so obviously a fuel cut defender a flathead screwdriver and basically anything that you can use to strip the wires and um, electrical tape so that's basically it all right guys so the next natural thing I want to do or I think you should know disconnect your car batteries in and the next thing is going to be locating your car's ECU now mine is on the passenger side um, along the footwell so I'm gonna go ahead and remove that and show you all right guys so something important I forgot to mention my, my, my camera battery died is um before you start any project just be sure that you write them down like Write down, for example, the color code and what they mean and what they go to. Just so that, just so that you have an idea of what you're doing, isn't me? Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I had wrote down some stuff like these are for the fuel cut defender. Yellow goes to the ECU pressure sensor, which is the map sensor. Um, white is basically going to the harness. Red, you know, everybody know that's 12 volt. Black grounds. Um, yeah, just have an idea of what you're doing basically before you jump into something, you know. And you can always go back and double check. This is the green wire that um, I was telling you about. It's green with black traces with silver stripes, right? So this is the wire that you're going to need to tap into. So basically you're going to cut this wire in half, right? And then the white of the fuel cut defender will go towards this side which is towards the harness and then the yellow side will go to this side which is towards the ECU all right and then pretty much you connect your 12 volts you can get that from this um, connector um, I'll get into that later and you can ground it basically anyway you can use the ECU ground as well some people prefer not to use that because um, they prefer not to mess with the ECU's um, wiring but yeah so I'm gonna do that now and show you I'm gonna use this old harness that I had for my BMW I'm basically going to use a red wire and a yellow wire a white and a black I'm gonna extend it I'm gonna extend it and basically Probably just put it in the glove box, you know, for now. So I got my wires. So I don't have any red wire because <laughs> I used it before on another project that I had doing. So black is going to be my grounds. This is going to be my white wire. It has white and red stripes, yellow, and then basically orange will be my red in this case. Okay, so 
that's the ground let me see if i can focus it yeah so that's the ground i went ahead and i got power from the um fourth connector just to just to confirm the other wires the white one goes towards the, the wire loom and the yellow one goes towards the ECU. Alright. Just double check your connections again. And now it's time to wire to the fuel cut defender. Finally connected it. Um, so now it's time to test. Because I know I normally test I normally test them before I you know find a proper place to mount it and all like that. I want to make sure it's here working first. Yeah, so now it's time to connect the battery. Yeah, and test it. All right, guys. So it's now time to test it. Let's see if it works. <laughs> and it works. It works. All right, guys. So the next step is basically setting your fuel cut to whatever you want it to be based on your based on the boost the amount of boost that you're running basically so basically you drive and um you drive it and if it cuts you adjust it so you turn it to your left so i'm currently at 12 um the next setting is 11 and the next setting is 10 and so forth so yeah i'll try and get some videos of me testing it all right guys so let's see if it make a difference we're gonna remember we said we're gonna do a video before we started and see how much it affects the rev well we're gonna do one now and see <laughs> One other important thing to him to one other important thing to mention guys um, while you're changing the settings it's advised that you turn your car off so when you turn your car off you use your flathead screwdriver and you turn it then you can turn on back your car all right all right guys so I'm gonna take you for a test run and bring you guys along with me hopefully the <laughs> I have the camera mounted to the seat I hope it don't move
guys so there you have it remember to share like subscribe comment if you like this video so see you in the next video thank you for watching